Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika, this is my hobby channel, Floating in Dreams, where I like to talk about makeup and fashion. And if you don't know anything about me, then you should know I love eyeshadows. And in this video today, we are going to be playing with some of my single eyeshadows. And this is a kind of follow-up on some of the declutters that I posted in May in my eye product. So not eyeshadow palette, but eye product declutter. I decluttered a bunch of my MAC and Makeup Geek, Geek singles and what I had left, I kind of just put in this palette, but I didn't rearrange the color story. So one thing we're going to do together is to rearrange these shades. Another thing we're going to be doing, maybe you've already seen that video, but in my eyeshadow palette collection, Declutter, I indicated that I was going to reorganize a lot of my ColourPop palettes. I already did that for the majority of my nine pans, so I will make sure to link that in the eye above. I'll link any other videos that I mention in the description box as well. Um, and one thing I hadn't done yet is played enough with my Stone Cold Fox for me to, well, uh, be able to pull that apart. So I now have used every single shade in this palette, and I'm going to pull out the shades that I like best, and I'm going to turn that into, I think, a 9 pan, not a 12, because I, there weren't a lot of shades here that I loved. So that's another thing we'll be doing in this video. Then, not too long ago, I got myself... Is this the one? Yes, this is the correct one. I've got myself some more Lethal Cosmetics palettes, so I now have three of these little palettes. And I'm going to be reorganizing these color stories as well, because by now I have a few of these shades and I'm like, the color stories just don't work for me. And I like to think of my, um, like, my singles also in terms of color stories, so that I know what to reach for and what to grab for. And then, right here in the back, Another thing we'll be doing in this uh, in this video is to take out ooh, it's the it's upside down uh, to take out all of these like fun shimmers and multi-chromes that I have here and put them into smaller palettes because I don't use a palette this big and I don't reach for those shades because it's in this palette. So I now have a Z palette that is empty, so I think I can put those in there. So let me clear the decks and first reorganize this eyeshadow palette. Alright, so this is my uh, MAC and Makeup Geek palette that I now have all the singles in that I still have left from these brands. I just didn't put these together like in a way that it makes sense, so I'm going to take all of these out and then I'm going to rearrange them so I can put them back into the palette. I think that's what I've uh, what I've come up with. I've pretty much put a full row of mattes in the middle. All of like the lighter shimmers are at the top, so these are mostly MAC shades. This is the only Makeup Geek one. This I believe is Charmed, which is a really nice like dirty gray, silvery kind of shade. And these are the iconic Patina Wood Winged Satin Taupe, uh, Dazzle Light, Nylon, Retro Spec, um, and then we've got the mattes, which are all matte shades, uh, MAC shades apart from this one. This is Chickadee. Um, this I know is, I think, Wedge and Soft Brown, uh, Corduroy. This isn't a matte, this is Shale. Um, and then we have um, uh, Blackberry and we've got Embark. Uh, over here we've got another row and here we get some of the, the foiled shades from Makeup Geek. This is Mesmerized. Um, this is uh, Honey Lust from MAC. This is expensive pink. Um, Star Violet of Stars and Rockets? I never know. Star Violet from MAC. I always mess up the name of that shade because I feel those shades were always very similar. Uh, these, uh, I think Grandstand and Flamethrower, and then that is um, Steampunk from uh, Makeup Geek. And then over here, I never really know. 
what is this one called again? Oh yeah, this is Rebel, and then this is Pop Culture, and that is Plot Twist. This is uh, Sketch, and this is Beauty Marked from MAC, and then this I think is Steamy. Yeah, this is Steamy from MAC, followed by Plumage, and then we've got Havoc from Makeup Geek, we've got um, Green Smoke from MAC, Sumptuous Olive from MAC, this is Venom from Makeup Geek, then we have Humid from MAC, we've got uh, Epic from Makeup Geek, and we've got Houdini from Makeup Geek. So that's what the palette now looks like. I think this is a color story I can get I can get down with. I've got all the neutrals I need to make a look, and then I've got all my fun pops of like purple, green, teal, and plum towards the bottom with just a little bit of cool toned shadows in the middle. So that is that palette reorganized. Let's reorganize the Lethal Cosmetics palettes next. So I've got three little Lethal Cosmetics palettes. I wish they did another one so that I don't have two that are the same. Uh, but this is the last one that I did. Uh, so this I just played with. Actually, I put this on my face for the second time today so that, that now I've used all of the shades. And again, it's lovely quality. So these are some of the like neon and the pastel shades that they came out with in like the past year. And then this was the first one I build, which is also quite bright. Um, so I actually think that some of the pinks and purples from this can go with that and some of the greens and the teals from this can go in a palette together. And then this is the more grungy one that I think I did about a year and a half ago. So I've had this one for about two years, this one for about a year, and this I just got in uh, the other day, the other week. Um, so as you can see, since I sort of bought these as collections were released, I don't really feel that the color stories still make a lot of sense. Because for instance, this green, I would like to pull in with some of the grease for, from here. So I think what I just want to do is build one, like, pinky purple palette, one more of like a greeny palette, and then also see what kind of shades I have left. I do want to keep my Lethal Cosmetics shades in these three palettes. I just want to make sure I've got three color stories that I can then, like I know what's inside it. I'm not sure if it's going to match up completely, but let me just take out all of these shades and rearrange them for you. So I've sorted through all of these shades, and these are 12 shades, and this fits exactly 12, so that's lovely. And then I need to figure out how to break up these ones. So I think I'm going to do the pinks and the purples together, and like these reddish toned shades, um, and then make like a bluey, tealy, turquoisey kind of palette. I don't think you can see these shades up here, but you'll see it in a minute. But then I'll put this one over there. Twelve. Then we can put that guy in here, and then the browns, like these browny shades, can go with the blues. I think we're going to do it like that. So let me put these guys, these purples. Let me put them in here. All right. So this would be the pink purpley kind of color story. So I like that. And that will be the green one. And then again, Lethal Cosmetics do some really, really pretty mattes. So uh, maybe put this guy over here. And then this gray tone over there with this bright blue in the middle. here. So that would be my blue, teal, and a bit of like brown. So a little bit more grungy. So that's what the three palettes now look like. I've got my pinky purpley one right here. I've got the green one, and then I've got a more grungy blue murky shade one. 
Next up we're going to pull apart my Stone Cold Fox, and I just finished uh, playing with this the other week, like I did all, a look with every single row, um, and I know exactly which shades in this palette now appeal to me and which ones do not. So hoping it is successful again, I'm going to be using my little Inglot magnet here to pull out the shades that I ended up liking. Now before we get into things, um, I did not like this palette, uh, so that's why I'm super happy that I can just sort of make do with what I find interesting and get rid of the rest because I definitely felt there were a couple of shades in here that were very lackluster, even disregarding the fact that you just get so many shades that are essentially doing the same thing. I felt that these two first rows on the left hand side were very warm toned, so for me the only shades I'm going to be pulling for are going to come from this side of the palette. And what I will do with them is that, depending on how many I pull, I either will put nine shades in this old blush crush packaging, which is all empty, or if I select 12, I'm going to be putting it into my Flutter Buy packaging that I had left over after already going over all these other ColourPop shades. So what were some shades that were very successful for me? This taupe shimmer. So that taupe shimmer, that was very successful for me, which is called... A sediment to be so that was one of my favorite shades I also really really pulled a lot for bold type I pulled it into almost every single one of the cool tone looks if I needed a shade for the crease or to deepen things out so there was that shade I also really like this cool tone brown here at the bottom all right so another shade that was very successful for me was this uh, champagne -y shade at the top I like to have something light and I don't need another silver per se so that one I'm going to skip so I'm having difficulty pulling these out of the palette because the palette is so magnetized that my magnet gets stuck to the palette and not the eyeshadow pan. But Ghost Town I really liked as well. Uh, I actually quite liked a few of the shades that are in these rows more so than what was going on here. So I still want to pull this one and I still want to pull this one if I can get them out. This was a nice blend shade. I like that. It pulled a lot more taupe on me than I had expected just looking at it in the pan. And I also quite liked these two shimmers. Got it. So that matte called Fascinated I now pulled and I pulled Baby Doll and I still want to pull those three shimmers in this matte. All right, finally got that shade out. Poof, that was, uh, I had to end up uh, keeping the palette upside down and shaking it while covering the shades that were still in here to get it out. That's what I ended up having to do. Uh, I think I have 10 shades though, instead of, wait, this needs to go back in because I don't want that one. Um, I d d know for sure I want this really deep shade. So I'm gonna put it in a center, center right here in the middle of the palette. But I definitely think that now that I have all of these shades that I liked working with the best, I'm not sure if I need to keep all of these. You know what I mean? So I think actually that there are, yeah, like I was, well, like, like I already thought, there are essentially a few here that are very similar. So then I don't need every single one. I actually think that this warmer toned one is my least favorite, so I'll put that one back in. And then I'm just going to keep these two, even though they are pretty much identical. But I do like that kind of look. Um, and I really don't like any other shades in this palette, so it's going to be a nine pan. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is great. So... I think what I want to do is to put these two like lighter shimmers at the top, then put these guys with the taupe in the middle through the middle layer, and then I think I want to put this guy here, this guy over here, and this guy over here. And then that way I have these shades that I like the best from the Stone Cold Fox in my uh, little blush crush palette and I think that this works really well for me. So that's what I'm going to keep. This is going to go onto the clutter pile but not until I have filmed an updated shot my stash uh, because I still need to show this palette that I've used it, that I pulled it apart for that video. So this is going to go into my shot my stash bin for now but then after that I'm going to declutter it and yeah this packaging also got really dirty really quickly so I wasn't a fan of it for that reason either. I told you I was going to pull apart my multi-chrome and like fun shimmer palette but before we can do that I actually have to reassess my two custom build 
palettes. So I've got a couple of these, actually these these ones you've seen me do videos with a few times. I've swatched all of these things, I've shown you looks with these shades, I've done everything because I have overflow from these palettes. Uh, this is the overflow palette and I actually want to pull these shades out and put them in here or in here, like wherever they go. So I want to make sure I pull that out or put it with the fun shimmers, something like that. And then these are some shades that if you saw my eyeshadow palette declutter or my ColourPop reorganization video, then these are some of the shades I kept out of palettes that I wanted to declutter. So this is from the Juvia's Place Nubian 2, I believe it's called Egypt, it's that green. And then these two shades are from the Juvia's Place Warrior 3, so two shimmers from that palette. And then we've got a blue from the Blue Moon from ColourPop, and also this is from the Blue Moon by ColourPop. And I think that these shades will work really well in here, and actually I need to curate these palettes a little bit, because not all of these shades are great. So I bought a bunch of these online without being able to try them, and I know that there are some shades that are in here that I just don't reach for, or it's too similar to things that are already going on in the palette. And because I bought everything online, I just I just wasn't able to check it all, so that's why. And then what I can also perhaps do, uh, definitely not this palette, uh, but I think... Yeah, so I've got a couple of Makeup Geek shadows actually in this palette that I decluttered. But maybe, for instance, this taupey shade, Moon Dust, might really be pretty in here. So I think I just want to see if I can give these a rejig. And then we're gonna rejig the like fun shimmer shades um, because this is definitely a shade. This is from Sydney Grace. It's called Tattletale. This shade right here is Tattletale from Sydney Grace, and this was a shade that I bought that didn't fit anywhere. But this is so pretty, and I just don't really reach for it because it's just not really going with anything else. So I think this shade just needs to get a place because it's always been in this extra palette. And these are not necessarily shades that I reach for a lot. So let me see what else I have in here. I think this is also Sydney Grace. Yes. This is Plummet, which is not necessarily a shade I reach for. So that may have to go into a declutter palette. Not because I don't like Sydney Grace shadows. They are the best singles I have. Most of the shades in here, actually, in this Zebra Print palette are Sydney Grace shadows. Um, so I definitely want to keep most of them, but I came into a couple of shades that just aren't really my vibe. Uh, let me see, what is this? This is Sweetheart. Let me see, it does look like a nice purple, but it is warm-toned. And I don't love warm-toned purples all that much, but that is a pretty shade. So maybe I want to put it somewhere. That for sure I want to keep. Now this other shade that is in this mini Anastasia palette is an Anastasia shade, and this is Electro, and this I'm going to get rid of, because it's not a good shade. Like, I can swatch it for you. Of course it will look pretty right here, but... I just, this like, pink with a blue flash, it's just not my vibe. So that is gonna go, I think, is this JB from... Yeah, this is JB from Sydney Grace. Like, if you want to see a really good, vibrant blue, like... Now I'm wondering, what about these shades? I think, actually, that this ColourPop shade and this, oh well, no, the Juvia's Blaze one is very different, so let me swatch that one over here. But this ColourPop shade, isn't that the same thing? They kind of do the same thing, don't they? Then I don't need to keep the ColourPop one, because the ColourPop one is just not as vibrant as the Sydney Grace one. So I'm going to get rid of this ColourPop shade because it's too similar to what I have. And then this shade here is Neo Blue from uh, Colored Rain, but I actually replaced it with a Divina shade in this palette at the time, which is also a blue matte, because this of course, it, it's okay here, but I just, I don't, didn't really like working with that shade. It's a bit dry. A lot of these electric blue shades are actually not that great. So then this one is empty. And then these shades I know I want to put in here somewhere. Uh, I definitely think that, 
because I want to make sure I want to free up this Nabla palette because this is a, sh a palette I like to use that if I want to build a custom palette using singles then this is the one I like to use for it. So that palette is now empty again, which I love. So, and I know actually a little bit of what I would like to replace, especially in this one. I've got some of these larger Nabla pens in this uh, Cool Tone palette, and I think I actually just, yeah, if I look at this shade, I, I definitely think that this Moondust shade from Makeup Geek is actually perfect to replace some of these shades here. It's a bit smaller, which means I could fit in some other shades for sure. So I'm going to take out these Nabla shades. So these four by Nabla, uh, this is Ground State. I mean, these are pretty, don't get me wrong, like they're pretty, but I just don't really reach for them. This is Chemical Bond. My hand is a bit wet, wet from the makeup wipe. And then this one is Neredi. This is the one that I remember. Like this is just a bit lackluster. So those other two, those could potentially stay, but this one I definitely want to declutter. And this guy is Glasswork. And this was also a bit like that Neredi shade. Like it just doesn't do much. So those two can go. Let me see if I swatch Moon Dust. I think this is a bit more green toned. Ooh, that, that is a taupe after my heart. I love that. Are they similar enough? No, they're different enough. So that Makeup Geek shade I would want to put in. And then I've got some other shades here that I think might round out this palette quite nicely. And I think actually that this Juvia's Place shade from the Warrior 3 would be really fun in either one of these as well. Like that's that Juvia's Place shade. That is one palette, another palette redone. And now we're moving on to this bad boy. And in here, I know there are some shades that I just don't really reach for. So we gave this a bit of a rejig. I took out some of the shades that it just didn't really work very well. And uh, yeah, decluttered a few, but this I still need to find a home for. All right, and then now it's time to take apart this ginormous um, Cleona palette, which I'm so glad they're coming out with a small version of this because this is just too big. In case you're wondering, uh, the larger sizes of the Juvia's Place Magic and Masquerade. That's how big this is. So it's a bit too big for me to reach for it all the time. So I'm going to use two palettes to put all these shades in. I've got this Z palette, which I now see it's a bit of a wipe down. So this red Z palette used to hold all of my Makeup Geek shadows, but now that I've fused them together with my MAC singles, I can just reuse the palette. And then I have this little Davina palette that I think I just want to put my multi-chromes in from Cleona that are at the top. And perhaps those three large shades in here, those are by JD Glow, so to put those in. But I do remember not loving all of the JD Glow shades once I put them on my face. So I may want to declutter some of those as well, but yeah. So I think I'll just, because this is nicely curated, and then we can see whether everything else, which are Cleona, Luxi, and Davina shades, uh, and one Sydney Grace, I think. <laughs> Maybe a bit of color pop, I don't remember. But let me put these guys 
in here. I All right, so I'm sorry if the camera has shifted a little bit and that I already did some other things, but my camera battery died and I was like, I'm just going to see if I can make it work. So I'm going to actually be able to put some other shades in here because else it won't fit into the Makeup Geek uh, or the Z palette because I know that fits 27 regular pants, if I'm not mistaken. And I've, I've got a couple of these multi-chromes from Davina. So I figured that these like bluish, purpley, shifty ones can all go really nicely in here. So then I've got a lot of multi-chromes just in the same spot. I think that will work really well. And then in here, I'm just going to put all of these other shades. So as I mentioned, some of these are Luxy, some of these are Davina, some of these are Cleona, and then we've got two rogue Sydney Grace shadows in here. You didn't miss much, I just put this shade in the bottom here, and then I did reorganize this a little bit as well, pushing these shades down so I have a bit more space in here for some more Cleona. But yeah, you're looking at everything we did in this video today. Uh, we did lots of reorganization and a bit of a declutter, so I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make three new videos a week, so I hope, to, I hope you would like to stay tuned, and I would like to see you in my next video. Have a great day, everybody! Bye-bye.